So, hello folks. I've uh, decided to uh, shut down the Instagram for a week, or at least for four or five days. Um, because I was getting a bit excited. <laughs> I was really in the machine, just uh, bashing out the drawings, putting them up. And that's pretty much... Uh, I was watching loads of YouTube, uh, trying to be still curious, so trying to trick the algorithm and search for other stuff and making loads of drawings and just plowing through without really thinking about much else. And sometimes you get in that trap, the Instagram trap where, I just have a drink. You get in that Instagram trap where you really can't think about anything else. You just, you, your mind's trapped. So what I've started doing now in the morning, and I feel much calmer, much better, is in the morning, normally I watch boxing training videos before I go to the gym whilst I warm up. Now I've stopped doing that, I just do warm up and go to the gym, and that, so I don't check any social media, any YouTube, before going to the gym in the morning. And then on the night I've started writing in my notebook again, just writing down people's names, people that I've done stuff with, people that I want to think about, and that also really works, I find, um, because I'm somebody who's always caught up in my own stuff, and sometimes I struggle to think about other people, but there's really so many people that have did so many nice things for me, and helped me out, and uh, I owe it to them to think about them. So I have my book, I sit there for an hour, and I just write down people's names that I like, that have done things for me, and that, that I want to do things for them. And just friends, you know, uh, and just thanks, you know, like my shows now that I'm saying thanks to everyone. Because I realised I was doing more videos before, more YouTube videos, and then you get in the trap of that as well. It's like everything in moderation, isn't it? Because um, you start with a lot of, a lot to say, a lot, a lot of thoughts, a lot of magic, and then it kind of just fades away into asking people to subscribe to your channel which can be a little bit sad. So here, I'm working on these paintings here. Um, with the paintings, it's it's a totally different process to the drawings in a way because I really want to use uh, a lot of paint and keep going over and over and, and getting the colours right. Whereas the drawings, it's just I draw and then I immediately colour in and it's done. Like here, if you look at the Nike one, there was actually a lot of different uh, layers of colour until I got to that yellow with the green there. Uh, so this one's um, people with oxygen masks and uh, NFT there, which for those of you who, do, who don't know what NFT is, it's, it's the uh, digital uh, files that are somehow in some blockchain. I don't know too much about it, but I've watched little bits. So it means you can sell original digital files and, and they're kind of all the rage at the moment. And one even sold for 69 million, uh, which is just crazy. So it was 69 million for an image that so has such deep uh, data somehow that it can't be uh, copied. I still I still struggle to understand it, but anyway, I'm curious about them. So it's got NFT there, it's got a couple of hearts, and then you can see the, the cables from the oxygen masks twisting through the paintings. Through the painting here, you've got some, some flowers there. I probably won't paint the flowers, and then you've got a receding uh, kind of little oval things there going up to the top. And I'm working on this painting for my mum for her 60th birthday. It's kind of carved, so it's grey and then, and, then it, and, then, and then it's got a lot of wood carving in the background there. And I used a roller, I, I haven't did this in a while, I used a roller for the background and then here's a painting. And, and the roller with these tones makes a really nice background and next I'm going to start thinking about how I'm going to uh, treat the edges because I'm getting a bit sick of seeing the ply you know so it's either like sand them or carve into the edges I think carving into the edges could also be nice I bought this frame Philippe thought it was terrible but we're going to put a family photo in there um, it's an old Nokia phone couldn't quite get that label off and it put under some hot water, but I think it's a great frame, that. I think it's a great frame. So yeah, I don't want to overdo it. 
just thought I'd show some paintings and uh, do a little video. So goodbye for now and ciao.